Where can students make a bank account with the lowest initial deposit? What is your ultimate tip for saving? It's so hard to save as a student. Is it smart to treat ourselves with allowance while saving up? Where can I get a debit slash credit card with not so many requirements? How do you party on a budget? Hey girls, case and days, it's me, Kilakosh, back at again with more Kilakon and a new episode of the Rich Bitch University. So right now, we're on episode 3. If you haven't watched the first Two episodes I highly recommend that you do and just like every episode I always say I am not a financial advisor I'm not a mathematician I'm not any of that shit I am a dumb bitch that's trying not to be a dumb bitch no but I'm kidding I am somebody of course that came from a place of privilege so take everything that I say with a grain of salt I don't force any of these things on you I don't control your money I have no say in how you spend your money how you save your money and again as I always say our money spending our money saving habits all of these things are different for different people so you can tweak Pick what you like, pick what works for you, toss what doesn't work for you. Because iba iba tayo ng lifestyle and the way that we spend money, the way that we save money, match to us a lifestyle natin. So if what I say doesn't work for your lifestyle or maybe there are things that work and don't work, you can mix and match from those and figure out what works for you, bitch. Okay, we're gonna start off with moisturizer. Today we are doing kind of just like a going out look, kind of like my standard going out look. But I'm not gonna do like my hula proof makeup look today because I want to do that in a separate video. That is such an in-depth thing and hindi talaga siya kakayanin habang ang dami kong chinechika. So, um, starting off with moisturizer, this is from Common Labs. Topic, our lesson, wow, kumaka lesson, teacher yan, prof yan. Our lesson of the day is saving, especially for students and how you can maximize it with online banking. How you can get into crypto as a student, easy ways to make money, all of those. We're going to answer them today. Elf Buddy Primer, by the way. Okay, so as I'm setting my primer, the first question is, where can students make a bank account with the lowest initial deposit? If you're a student, I get it. Sobrang hirap kayo to make a bank account kasi ang daming hinihinging requirements. You need to have so many IDs. Sometimes your parents have to even come with you. So what I definitely suggest is you make a bank account on Maya because that has the lowest initial deposit. Actually, wala ngang deposit then. You can make an account na. Plus, they have the highest interest that I know of right now. 6% yung interest niya. So for example, if you put in 100 pesos, you get 106 pesos without doing anything. As in, it just automatically grows your money. And girl, it's episode 3 na. So kailangan pa ba natin i-recap kung ano yung interest? Dapat alam niyo na yan. So ano yung interest, guys? Sagot. Okay, tama yan. Tring. But if you guys, again, still do not know what interest is, it's basically what the bank gives you for choosing them. Because, of course, you can choose any bank din naman, di ba? But you chose, let's say, Maya. The reason you chose Maya is because they have the best interest, right? And to give back to you what they do, aside from like all of their other kinemers, is interest. And that's how a lot of banks give back to you. Labanan talaga siya ng interest. So, um, I definitely suggest you make an account with Maya because it's easy, it's free. Um, you don't really need an initial deposit, actually. You only need one ID, you don't need your parents' consent, MM. You can just make an account and it's super, super simple. One ID is all you need. An interesting question I got is how do you know that your money won't all be lost in a bank? A lot of people still don't have bank accounts apparently because they get scared na mawawala, especially in online banking. But it's really about choosing a safe bank. Like, Shemper, don't put it in like some random bank that you never heard of, diba? So, um, for example, like with Maya, even if it's an online bank, it's BSP licensed, it's PDIC secured, so you have to check those things talaga. Siyempre, your money, it's a very sensitive, it's a very important matter na you really have to do your research with anything din naman, but especially for your money, this is your hard-earned money, so make sure that you put it in a bank that is BSP licensed, PDIC secured, alam mo na yan. What is your ultimate tip for saving? It's so hard to save as a student. I super feel that, especially kasi, as a student, limited yung baon natin. Girl, like a lot of people honestly think that just because I came from privilege, parang ang laki ng baon ko growing up. But my baon, even in high school, was 80 pesos. My mom would literally ask me what's the cheapest meal or like the most affordable meal in school. And then iba base yung baon ko per day based sa pinaka affordable na meal in school. Para I learn how to save. And it's something that as a kid I hated kasi. 
my parents were strict and parang all my friends like after school they would eat at McDo. May tirang baon pa sila to go to McDo. Or on the weekends, they would go to movies. And I found it so incredibly hard to save. So I super feel you. Because like, even in college, like my baon in college was 100, 120 per day. There were sems pa na TTH lang yung school ko. So sometimes 240 lang yung baon ko. Or MWF. So 360 lang yung baon ko. But then I would have to go to school on other days pa. But because walang class, Wala kung baon, gets ba? But the way that I did it was that I would put aside even just five pesos. If I could save five pesos, sobrang saya ko na. Like honestly, also coming from a place of privilege, there wasn't a huge urgency for me to save. It was more of for my wants, and I'll admit that. But at the same time, there were dreams I had and needs that I had in the future. Na syempre, Kailangan mo save to achieve those things because my parents weren't the type to take me shopping every weekend. There was none of that stuff, you know. It was only like if it was your birthday or if it was Christmas. Dun lang ako is a spoil. But other than that, wale. If I could save five pesos, then amazing. Sobrang saya ko na. But if you're not coming from a place of privilege, I totally understand why you wouldn't be able to save because I get na shit. You're already thinking about just how you can afford to go home or how you can afford to eat that day. Saving. You know what I mean? Like, I get where you're coming from. But again, I would say if you want to start saving, that's great. So start small. If it's five pesos, if it's one peso that you can save every day, it'd be great. Right? Like, I feel like a lot of people think that you have to save a lot of money for it to be valuable. I feel like a lot of people always make out saving to be like, oh, I save 500, I save 1K, 5K. But it's not a competition. You have to think of your money, your investments, your saving. It's a you thing. It has nothing to do with other people. Don't compare yourself to other people, how much they save or how much they earn. Because we're all different. We all have different lifestyles. We all make different amounts of money. Some of us are supporting our parents. Some aren't. We're all different. So. I would say the biggest tip that I can give you is just to start small. Save what you can, be proud of it, and then eventually save some more. I guess that would be my best tip. But also, don't stress it. Don't stress too much. We also got a similar question na, how can you save if your allowance is just enough for your expensive? Ayun na nga. It's very, very hard to save um, if you're not coming from a place of privilege. But at the same time, I guess the only other way would be to get a part-time job. There's so many part-time jobs online like virtual assistants, internships, or internships don't pay a lot. Like I hire a bunch of interns as well for my brand and it honestly doesn't pay as much of course compared to a full-time job. But it is a little side income here and there that can help so much and I mean like even an extra 1 to 2k a week, that's a lot. Like as a student, if I had an extra 1 to 2k a week, damn, like that could get me places you know so if you could find a couple internships here and there virtual assistant jobs that would be very helpful is it smart to treat ourselves with allowance while saving up so depends kasi what you consider as a treat right now kasi nasa age na ako na when i treat myself it is buying more crypto Shempre, it's nice to treat ourselves with a luxury bag nice makeup dior lip gloss whatever but honestly, kasi nasa mindset na ako, and I'm just being honest, na wala na ako sa mindset na, oh, to treat myself would be to get myself really nice things. Because, like, things are just things. Like, that's something that I realized over the years, na I want to treat myself by taking care of myself for the long run. Like, long-term investments, that's how I treat myself. Like, if people gifted me crypto, I'd be so happy because I know that the value of that now increases over time. Kasi yung value let's say you guys know how much i love my makeup and i am a material girl but at the same time kailangan i-balance yun sa treating ourselves in a way now we're taking care of ourselves as well like yeah it's self-care to splurge here and there but to ask like is it smart to treat ourselves it depends because of what you're treating yourself with and how much that costs i would definitely say like get a couple material things here and there that make you happy go i love 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 it support it big slay like i can't tell you not to do that because i spend so much money on makeup and fun stuff but at the same time you have to really balance it out with treating yourself with investment because i swear like your future self will totally thank you for that. Your future self will literally feel treated by your old self. So I would say it is smart to treat yourself every now and then pag deserve mo. And kung afford mo, wag mag spend out of your budget talaga kung 
wala sa budget mo kung hindi mo kaya wag mong iposh like i know people and i've honestly been there when i was younger na ubusin yung buong allowance ko just for this one thing kasi feeling ko deserve ko or because i saved up for it but do i have savings though you know what i mean like what I tell myself in a huge tip is that if I can buy something three times over, then I deserve it. So let's say this moisturizer is 800. If I can buy three of this, so 2,400 pesos worth of this, I deserve go afford go because I have enough money in the bank to go around talaga na this won't break me. Another way that I think about saving if deserve ko is if I spend 800 on this, I have to save 800 as well. Parang I'm paying myself back. Not just for this, but for other things as well. Like small trinkets here and there that I spend on na uh, or treats to myself. I tell myself na I have to pay myself back in the bank. Or if I spend 800 on this, I even tell myself na okay, I have to pay myself 1.6 in the bank to make up for the loss. But it's not technically a loss, but like in my mind, it is because it's a treat and not really an investment or a long-term treat. That's how I treat it. And again, this might work for you, it might not work for you, but I hope it does. Now that we're on the topic of crypto, a lot of people have been asking me pala to give a step-by-step -step rundown of how to trade crypto. Kasi parang medyo vague pala like how I talked about it previously or like it's still not clear to some people. So let's do it step-by-step, -step, like frame-by-frame -frame talaga. Let me walk you through it from dumb bitch to fellow dumb bitch. Ito na tayo ngayon. Okay, so first I open up my app. I'm going to hide my money feature. Hide your money, y'all. Ladies, may we get a word? Hide the money, y'all. <laughs> I love that feature in Maya because then you can show your account without actually revealing how much you have. So I open up my account and then as you guys can see, there is a crypto feature over there. So that's step two. You click on crypto. So to be able to use the crypto feature, kailangan may account na and the like the. And of course, kailangan may laman yung Maya mo. Ano yung ito trade mo, girl? So I'm just going to block how much money I have here, but because you can't cover it here. But on this page, you'll see all of the charts over there, like how much it's gone up or gone down over the course of 24 hours. So the price has changed literally in the blink of an eye. Well, it's a blink of an eye. Um, but yeah, there's so many different coins over here. You have USDT, LINK, XLM, DOT, ALGO, UNI, ADA, BTC, Ether, Solana. There's so many coins that you can choose from and that you can review based on the graphs. Again, as I always say, you buy when it's down, you sell when it's high. Same stuff, same story. Alam nyo na yan. So from here, what we're going to do is click buy. And then you have all of these coins na lalabas that, that you can buy. So me, what do I want to buy right now? Let us buy QNT. I have none of that coin yet. Let's buy it. Because it is down negative 14%. So bumaba yung value niya right now. So I want to buy this right now kasi akyat din to. Hopefully, eventually. Diba? Like that's how it usually works. Like if there's a down period and it goes up. So let's say my 1k right now is down 14%. Oh no, 13%. Nagiba na ngay. In the blink of an eye. Give it a few months. My 1K possibly magiging 1.5 because it is no longer negative. So, iba iba, I really can't say. Hindi naman ako fortune teller girl. Like, I can't predict the future. Duh. So, we're going to click on QNP and then it says buy crypto. You see that? Minimum, by the way, to trade crypto is just 1 peso. So, all you need is 1 peso and you can already start trading. Let's do 20 pesos. My account to trade. 20 pesos. So you'll see the equivalent of that coin because the coin is actually worth 2,400 pesos. I'm just buying a percentage, a small, small fraction of that coin. You're not buying the entire 2,400. You don't have to buy that entire coin. And that's what I love Dito Samaya because they don't force you to spend like the entire 2,400 for one coin. You can buy just a small part of that coin, which is 20 pesos, which is equivalent to, it shows how much you buy. You buy 0. 0, 0, 0.08 of a coin gets bad because you're only buying 20 pesos of the 2 4. So, parang part lang talaga siya. I hope this is clear. Okay, and then next, we literally click next. And then, just like that, all you have to do is slide to purchase. Bada bim, bada boom. Just like that, it's official. You're dealing in quant now. This is the end screen. 
that is what you have and that's how easy it is to invest your savings so again let's say you save five pesos every day five pesos monday to friday that's 25 pesos and you can buy it oh and you get a receipt as well on maya so again it is super super easy to trade crypto don't just buy i've been seeing these facebook posts by the way of like people buying crypto parang referral mm on facebook for like ether have you seen those yung mga parang I just made 10,000 one day doing crypto. Buy Ether from me now. Yung mga ganon, do not trust those. I'm telling you right now, how many people have even DM'd me na parang they got into crypto through those parang referral MMs. And it's so shady. So don't. Um, I definitely suggest if you're trying something new, try out Maya's app because it is super, super user friendly. And it's basically everything na you have in a bank and crypto and investing in ne credit cards pa ang dami nilang MS so it's like a all in one one stop shop na for all of your stuff so if you're going to get into crypto and especially if you're a student go for something that's user friendly na and don't trust those shady people honestly na ibebenta because that's how you can lose your money that's why some people actually complain that they lost their money in crypto because they went through a person a referral MM don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. We have so many questions on like, how did I balance my academic life and internship? But those are more about time, so I'm not gonna answer those. Maybe you can do another episode just on that. What are your thoughts on skipping lunch just to save money? Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. It is not healthy. Like, put your health first. I understand that saving is such a priority for you, which is great. Um, I applaud you for it. But grabe, wag naman sa point na you won't eat lunch just because you're saving. Your health is your number one priority. Health is literally wealth. If possible, what I would suggest, if you know, if you're choosing between food or whatever, just to be able to save, magbaon ka na lang kaya para you can save the money from your allowance. Or if you're like my parents na, my parents kasi pag may baon ka, wala kang allowance. So if I bring food, walang allowance. So if your parents are like that, what I would do na lang is buy the cheaper options. Diba? Like, there is a better compromise. Do not just skip a meal just so that you can save. Kumain ka, girl. Think of more alternatives like, ayun nga, finding cheaper food, making baon, other ways. Wag yung mag skip ng meals. Dumbest thing students spend an unnecessary amount on. Honestly, yung mga crush. Ah, hindi ka naman crush. I remember in high school, even college, I would spend so much money on chocolate, shoes, my gosh. Pag tibu talaga shoes, no? You buy your Joa shoes. Yun, honestly, yung pinaka unnecessary talaga na splurge. Kasi hindi ka naman mahal noon, girl. Like, wake the f up. Iba yung Juna Joa niya, tas Juna Joa mo. Hello. Wag na tayong gumastos dun. Let's focus on ourselves, save for ourselves, spend for ourselves, invest on our f***ing selves. Period. Where can I get a debit slash credit card with not so many requirements? So, Last episode, we talked about the difference between debit and credit card. Learn it. <laughs> Listen to the last episode. But I wasn't able to share pala where you guys can get a card. So, one place that you guys can get a card is on Maya because the requirements, again, are super easy. One ID lang. And you have, if you have an account, it's so easy to upgrade your account. And their debit card is basically connected na to your account mismo. So, it's super easy to use. Whatever you spend a card, ma deduct lang from your online. They even have a credit option and the spending limit is 50 so that's pretty big now if you're starting as a student but again guys be disciplined because the interest rates don't kayo maloloka if you're not paying on time if you spend too much tas wala ka palang pambayad be disciplined don't use up the credit um, limit if hindi mo naman pala kayang bayaran right but Maya does have a debit card option which you can easily avail of plus I really like the card because it's black so it's a black card it looks super sleek and expensive it's giving that expensive energy so yeah getting a card is definitely something that you should look into as well because it makes life quite convenient because sometimes people don't have cash sometimes people don't have access to online banking means and wala kang data so it's very hard so at least you have a card I always suggest getting a card as a backup because most places at the end of the day they have cards or like if you go to a mall, find a place where you can use your card. Like especially in an emergency, it is very, very helpful. You are on the go. Sometimes you aren't able to withdraw. Having a card is so beneficial. We love that soft wing. I always love doing like a nice little 
snatched soft wing to just open up the eyes. Love her. How do you party on a budget or how do you club on a budget? One great way, of course, is to drink before you even go out. So a lot of the times, we would actually drink like really cheap drinks at home or whatever my parents had in the pantry. I would drink that shit up, slurp it up, para when I get to the club, isang drink na lang yung kukunin ko and that's what I'll sip on for the rest of the night. Or me and my friends would all chip in to get one bottle para it's more affordable. Because if you think about it, it's actually cheaper to get a bottle because sometimes Cuervo's like what, 2 5? But you get drunker faster, so you need to drink less of it. And then 2 5, you can split that between like 5 people, take 500. But like if you were to get a cocktail, sometimes a cocktail is like 300. And how many cocktails will you have? 2, 3, sometimes 4. So it's more gastos pa nga to drink cocktails than like a bottle. If you have people to split a tequila bottle with, more efficient, cheaper, you get drunk faster, and everyone's happy. But I know it sucks, like tequila, ugh, I hate it on my throat. But it's about the destination, not the journey when it comes to drinking. How do you earn as a student kung hindi ka pwede sa part-time? Bawal po kasi ako lumabas ng bahay and mahina yung net namin. Okay, I get that. I hear you. I see you. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of online jobs. But if mahina yung net mo, that is definitely a problem because a lot of the online jobs, like virtual assistants, or even me when I hire my intern, interns, kailangan may good internet connection ka because that's how we get stuff done and coordinate. But if you don't have that, another way that you can earn instant 100 pesos is if you use the Maya code. I'll show it to you. Wait lang, highlight muna ako. Magpapaganda muna ako bago ako pakita yung feature na yun. Fuck! Freshness! Tama na pagpapaganda. Let's be intellectuals. Oh sorry, it's 50 pesos now. Before it was 100 pesos if you guys were on the early bird promo the one I posted on Instagram stories. But now, at least you can still get 50 pesos. So it's a very easy way to make like 500 pesos. Imagine if you have 10 people in your barcada, aside from you, and you invite all of these people using your very special referral code, you instantly get 50 pesos like straight to your PayMaya wallet. And this is usable money, ha? It's not like credits, credits. It's actual cash money that you can use to transact. To send to people, it is very easy and very convenient. So you guys see that? It says, invite friends, get 50. So you click that, and then lalabas na yung code mo. Just like that. May code ka. And that code is what you send to your friends. And then once again, they make their account, upgrade their account, and cash in. They don't even have to cash in a lot, as in bare minimum. Just cash in. You instantly get 50 pesos. It's so, so simple. And it's honestly such an easy way to make money. Because even if mahina yung net mo, you can avail of this. And it's an easy way to make money. 50 pesos, that's a meal already. You should monetize this like you should seriously hop on this how to save when you do all-nighters and drink coffee you need coffee well then girl you really have to make like some sacrifices because i remember i had like a starbucks face and all i would do is like order in starbucks like but i was working now that's why i was able to afford it like i had an office job now and i would spend so much of my sueldo on starbucks and it was the dumbest shit in the world because Coffee is coffee, and I feel like a part of me just kept wanting to treat myself, or because feeling what deserve ko, because I'm working so hard, like me, parang mindset ako ganon before. And as much as Starbucks is so yummy, it is so convenient, it's fast, you can get it anywhere. It's not that smart to do that regularly. Like, girl, you're gonna spend so much money. If I'm being honest, hop on Nescafe, three in one packs, coffee ko blanco, ooh, coffee ko brown sugar, ooh, that's my shit. Like. Get the sachets, get something affordable within your budget because coffee is coffee. At the end of the day, um, all you need is to stay awake. You don't need like the top of the line. You don't need Starbucks. You don't need like artisanal coffee. It's also about making um, sacrifices, compromises within your budget and lifestyle so that you can treat yourself later on. Shampoo, you can get Starbucks every now and then, but if it's like a need talaga na part of your routine, na you really need coffee every day. Yes, it's kind of like how I need my skincare. Wow, I need my skincare every day. Edi, umarte tayo ayon sa budget. And kung wala tayong budget pang lamer, edi hindi ako gagastos for lamer. And I'm gonna stick to my local brands, my happy skin. We love her. My common labs love her. For example, with coffee, hindi natin afford yung Starbucks. Edi, let's stick to Nescafe. Let's stick to coffee ko. The ba? There's no shame in the game, baby. Another thing, honestly, that I remember, especially about high school and college, was that. 
everyone's always trying to show off and I get it. Like I was there too. Like everyone's flexing or everyone's trying to be like the baddest bitch in the game. Everyone's trying to be like rich and show off this new image because you're trying to be a whole new person. Basically in college, okay, and in high school, pahul ako nun. Like pahul talaga ako na I always want to show off. I always want to stunt. I had this image that I wanted to show and that cost me a lot of money trying to like flex all the time, show off all the time. Which makes no sense in the long run because I was flexing for the wrong people. Like I was showing off for the wrong people. Like for people that don't even give a f about me. You know, like just to be popular and just to be accepted, I guess, or just for guys to like me or people to talk about me. And there's no shame in that. I was there too. But now I genuinely don't give a f Like I'm gonna sip on my Copico Blanco and not give a f Leave me the f alone. I'm bougie on a budget. I'm a broke bitch. And there's no shame in that. Period. Last question for the day is how to have self-discipline. You want to discipline yourself not to spend na hindi ka madadala sa lahat ng ayan ng friends mo, sa lahat ng gala ng friends mo. Because I got a lot of those questions na how to not pademonyo sa mga night outs and ayas. I get it. Like I loved going out and I loved hanging out with friends but it costs so much money. How to have self-discipline is first by setting a balance talaga. You really have to balance your needs and your wants. After your needs are met, then you can think about the wants. Separate that money. So one way that I also discussed in the previous episode was by storing your money separately. So for example, one way is if you have Maya, which by the way was Pay Maya before, if you guys are wondering, it's the same thing, but they just rebranded to Maya. I mentioned this before, this one way to have self-discipline, if you separate your money from your wallet and your savings account. So you can have a savings account on your Maya account para one way is that yung savings mo hindi mo talaga to touch yun, as in it is the untouchable. You cannot touch it. Not touch it. Para your wallet, yun lang talaga yung pwede mong gastusin. That is your budget for spending. That is your budget for going out, for watching movies, drinks, etc. Para your savings, dun ka lang talaga magsa-save. And you do not touch that. So, let's say you get your allowance. You put your money in your savings first. Yung pang-save mo talaga. And then yung matitira sa wallet, yun lang yung pang-gastos. Yun lang yung pang gala, yung pang inom, pang walwal, alam mo na, lahat na. And that's just one effective way, separating your money from your wallet and your savings. And I love that feature because it's super, super convenient lang to move your money around. But another way is if you tend to deal with a lot of cash, and I also mentioned this before, you can have your money, let's say, in your wallet or your savings account, on your phone, on your my account, and then you have money in cash na yun lang yung gagastos mo for everyday use. Pag na ubos na yung cash mo, wala na talaga. Like, you're out. Like, you cannot touch your wallet or your savings. At least that way, naka separate. Shempre, it still takes self discipline not to touch that money. But having it separated already kind of gives you like a system where you know, ah, okay, this one I cannot touch, this one I can spend. And it's a very easy way to like dip your toes. Dip your toes into saving, money management, and very, very basic like hacks that will help you in the long run. So yeah, you guys, this is my final going out look. She's snatched, she's ready to go, but I'm literally just gonna probably take TikToks after this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my saving for students, tips and tricks, online banking, on um, Again, invest in crypto, guys. It's as low as one peso on Maya. They have a 6% savings interest rate on Maya as well. They have a wallet, a savings feature. They have a credit feature of 15K. You can get a debit card with only one ID. They have so, so many features. Launching their dark mode soon, you'll be able to send money to a username. So, parang you can send me just like at Kilakoshla. No need for QR code. Just using your username. They have so, so many features that you should definitely check out. And again, they are licensed by BSP, are PDIC secure. It's super easy to make an account. You can even get 50 pesos just by recommending your friends using your referral code. Guys, there's just too many benefits on Maya. I hope you guys check it out. Let me know in the comments down below other questions you have or maybe a topic that you want me to uncover. The next episode and I'll see you bitches next time. Bye. Kill a shout.